hi ladies and gents <laughs> welcome back to this channel uh, for those of you who doesn't know me yet uh, my name is Mark Lefel I'm a clinical laboratory technologist or scientist uh, living in New York and uh, this uh, topic is very interesting I've been uh, having a lot of questions about uh, or to come to America to work as a clinical lab technologist okay I make a lot of research and uh, I meet a lot of friends and uh, yeah I have information for you okay so those of you who live in Pakistan and Nigeria uh, all over the globe and have good news yes you can come to America to work as a clinical laboratory technologist uh, before I start this video any let me tell you that I'm not affiliated to any agency I do not get paid for naming or mentioning any agency in that video and uh, before you uh, pay for anything uh, make sure you do your homework make sure you dig into any agency I'm going to name in this video uh, you look into them make sure they are reliable make sure that you know uh, you paying for the right service okay this is your responsibility to check any information that I'm going to mention in that video with all that being said let's get into it okay now I spoke to a friend that come from the Philippines and then she said yes you can come to America to work as a nurse or clinical laboratory technologies and the step as as follows okay you need to find an international an, an agency that can evaluate your credential okay so and uh, and she named one of those agencies that do that and I went and checked online all the informations and I found out they located in right there and uh, let me see Philadelphia okay so they have an address where you can you know go and verify all those information so uh, now before uh, I do anything okay so there's a lot of different agency that do this but make sure you do homework uh, she mentioned this agency called CGFNS International okay it's a global uh, credibility that's what they say agency what they do okay their services okay let me mention you about their services okay so they do credential evaluation so if you have a degree in medical laboratory technologies you're nursing any uh, type of a degree they will evaluate your degree and then they do something uh, very interesting they call visa screening okay so i think a lot of you will be interested about the visa screening they do a visa screening process and, and during that process if you come from a foreign country most likely you listening to this video do and you will uh, uh yeah, if, uh, yeah they have information for clinical about the technologies and they do a visa screening and uh, part of the visa screening you gotta take or uh, it they call it uh, okay so okay you gotta take your state board make sure you have your state board uh, certification okay you state board certify and all of those good stuff make sure if you're a clinical laboratory technologist make sure you have your ASAPI ASAP international and then you have to show them that you proficient in English you both you are able to speak and understand English you have to take uh, uh, English exam English test okay so this is part of the visa screening and they said uh, they are they are the only agency that you know uh, affiliated uh, or recognized by the government okay by the usa us government so 
everything I'm saying, make sure you check them out. Okay, uh, the the website they have their website, the cgfns.org. Uh, make sure you check them out. And um, yeah, they have a visa screening, and then uh, they have credential evaluation. They will check your credential. Make sure you have uh, uh, everything that you needed. Okay, now the next step after you do that, right? You get your visa screening and your visa come out, your, your screening come out good, nice, you know, positive, and then you need to go find an agency that can look for the job for you. Or you can do it yourself. You know, you can either do it yourself, find an agency that affiliated with the hospital in America, things like that. Uh, the reason for, for looking for an agency instead of doing it yourself is because um, the big companies that the hospital or or company that would like to hire somebody they want they don't want to go through the process of doing your background check they want an agency to do it so that they don't have to do the work I right? just a lot of work checking you out to see who you are you know it, all of those that they want an agency to do it so that's why you know if you really want to come to America so you gotta look for one of those agencies unfortunately I don't have any name that I can refer you to but you know you can't always go online and look if there's any agency in your in your area that you know look for a job in the state uh, in the United States for people in your area and then you can you know bring them your visa screening and all of those stuff and then they can start looking for a hospital job or anything that like that for you so that they can apply for a work visa and can come to America so yes you can come to America to work as a clinical laboratory technologist or you can come to work as a nurse or in a, a lot of other profession, uh, uh, you know, and there's a lot of big companies that are hiring, you know, so yeah, as a scientist, of course you can come. So now look at this agency again, CGFNS International, and there's probably other agency that do that. They have a visa screening and they do have you know, uh, credential evaluations and uh, look at them and check them out, you know, and make sure you have your everything evaluated, you know, have your visa screening done and look for an agency that can look for the job for you, you know, to come in order so you can drop your application to come to America. Remember, if this and those informations are good, make sure you share them out. If they you think they're good information, you know, like it and subscribe and do not stop asking questions any question bring them out i will make a video based on your question maybe i will answer it and if i miss anything do not hesitate to ask okay thank you very much uh for all your love and support this is your friend mark lefel peace